I think Skudik Institute has an amazing and really unique opportunity because of the partnership with Acadia National Park, because of its setting, to really connect a lot of people with the natural world, to increase their understanding of issues that are increasingly important for all of us, and to really contribute in an important way to research in natural sciences. When visitors come to Acadia National Park, we want them to learn about the values that are here and more about the actual resources that are protected. Scudic Institute is a very important partner in helping us uh, develop more programs and more initiatives related to science and education in the park. The Scudic Institute and the park work together at the Scudic Education Research Center, documenting the changes that are happening, understanding the, how those are impacting the park and its resources, and then figuring out how to best respond to those. My vision for the partnership between Scudic Institute and Acadia is really t that we work together to improve people's access and understanding of the science that's going on here and also more generally so that we provide a model that could be used in other national parks, other protected areas, and even beyond that more broadly to understand how to engage people so that they can understand what's happening and really make a meaningful difference. The ability for the Scudi Institute to work directly on site uh, next to the National Park Service personnel and for the two organizations to really bring their strengths uh, together uh, for one common objective has really worked out very well. I think it's been a real success story here. It really has a great opportunity to have a large impact uh, on the Acadian region. Scudic Institute's setting is a huge advantage because the natural environment here is incredibly appealing. What has developed here at the former Navy base is, in my mind, very similar to a small, attractive college campus. And so you have this very nice campus with great facilities for many types of uses, set in the woods and set right against the ocean on one of the most spectacular pieces of the main coast. And that attraction makes it possible to bring top quality people working here and to bring lots of people here as visitors and as students. And I think that's a truly unique opportunity. At Acadia, you know, we have 70 to 80 different research projects a year. We're learning some amazing things. How do we communicate what we're learning to the public? If you're having this research community develop and use national parks as natural laboratories, and they're phenomenal laboratories, of course, why not take that information and connect it directly to your education programs. So here at the Scudic Institute, we are, we're supporting the programs that bring school kids here, immersed not only in nature, but taught the fundamentals of, of basic observation and basic science, so that they're sort of self-propelled in their own observations and their own investigations. And once you get that bug, it can be a lifelong experience that, that people pursue. As we grow and everybody's program starts to you know, catch fire and have some strength. It brings in opportunities for different age groups and some of them can do some collecting of citizen science, you know, get some data that is useful for researchers. As those children get older and have more practice, the data they're collecting will be more accurate. Having more knowledgeable people out there in the community about the resources in Acadia National Park means that those people are more able to help us not only protect the park for the long term, but support our efforts in uh, making the right decisions. National parks have a limited capacity to support science on their own. And what the Scudic Institute does is it really helps us increase our capacity to support that science. So they work with us to be able to attract research, uh, to be able to do research, to engage volunteers, and then connect that research with management actions and with education. The future, I think, of Scudic Institute and its role on behalf of the National Park is really limitless right now. I think that's one of the, the most intellectually stimulating and exciting parts of being involved at the Institute and of course with the National Park in general. We have the opportunity to impact at the international level. And we're really only at the beginning in terms of, of what we're able to do.